this is a video on streak let's scratch 1.3.1 modification made in 2008 which is very early version I think so only cheaper existed in their times it's almost like the first one of the oldest mod which I ever seen this is kind of pioneer in modding and I don't know I, I also assume that most of the blocks are most of the some of the blocks are stolen from this mod only actually I think so there are lots of things called derivation and all those kind of stuff because each mod rely on each other and I, I'm not supposed to review all of them but I don't know I did a big mistake reviewing them or something you just comment below if you don't want that reviews I just try to get some unique things only and leave behind those waste waste kind of stuffs but anyway I'm just gonna do from the wiki only because I'm getting very tired and of course I'm, I'll slowly move towards the 2.0 thing if I could because I don't have time maybe one or two more days I'll do that and then this is gonna be concluding so anyways let's check this from the top to bottom so the first thing is save so one thing that's so surprising let's just create a save file called example as it's automatically in its own folder I think so it knows where to save things because we, uh, because I installed this I think so yeah you can see example over here it's written streak project so let's right click it and see so that you can understand the extension you can see it's written dot sc dot sc means streak in case you don't know so that's a streak file dot sc and of course that's save as that let's do that of course you can share to the website but there's something called compatible mode you can make the project compatible if you need otherwise you don't need to but let me just make it incompatible you can exit the compatible mode like that I'll just give no so anyways let's check extras menu which is the next menu we are, which we're going to see this is the normal menu and we can read about about the streak because it's created by Billy Gradon actually I took it from this web archived website but I'll just give you a direct link if I could upload it or something which I usually do and then these are the some of these things which are new in streak but I, th I don't think so I'm going to check all of these because I'm just reading it slowly you can import project which means kind of like a backpack but it combines two projects together which is very amazing rather than dragging it lots of times in backpack and then you can start single stepping which is there in different place so let me stop that you can compress sound images enter blind mode of course I think so you know what's a blind mode everything is larger but in this there's some kind of bug or something but not everything okay we got it larger now every blocks are larger and everything is becoming larger anyway it's cool but I, let me just exit it and just switch between this so it's come to the normal mode And then that's also called enter compatibility mode which will make it compatible with scratch and also save as .sp also you can open the scratch project using it if you're in the it'll automatically enter the compatible mode if you open a .sp file which is scratch file if you open streak file it'll automatically enter the uncompatible mode or you can say it's not uncompatible mode it's scratch so the compatibility is very cool other than that the logo is different now let's check my 1.3 video for more information on this whole interface so that you could find some difference between streak and the interface itself and don't think like the whole thing is so unique and made by streak only it's not like that so yeah this thing is arranged very uniquely which is very amazing this thing but wait I just okay it's inspired by chip yeah so chip is made first and after that only streak okay I understand that so I think so I like this arrangement of the block category maybe I, they could stretch this a little more actually I like this thing personally and I don't know why mods didn't use this not even one mod but anyway cool so now we have checked the top of the block well, block pillar let's check the bottom so yeah as usual first thing is turn around which will turn you to the opposite direction you can see 90 degree look minus 90 which will turn it by 180 degree it's more like about turn or something means the opposite direction will turn but some pictures you cannot notice it because this is very symmetrical or something 
as that could be the reason and other than that the motion category i think so it doesn't have any more changes oh yeah this thing is new point towards a particular x and y if you put a uh, 0 0 to switch to the normal i thought it is not switch to normal direction it will try to try its best to switch to a random direction i think so okay just giving a minus 18 that makes a bug but y10 would make it to point towards a particular direction or maybe 100 I see the more further it goes it's pointing more accurately that is a very weird thing but cool this would make it totally opposite direction that's what I mean okay it will point towards a particular x and y like this one or this one any point in this board except for itself if it's given given to itself it don't know which angle it will turn towards and then other than that yeah no changes there I hope so then let's go to the controls category in controls category as well as I see no changes I don't know if there are any changes also wait you can shift click extra menu I forgot that but these tools for writing project summaries and you can enter full screen which I just forgot to review or you can just exit it that's okay but like, I think there's something called display depth which just changes the color hue or something like that Thirty-two is the thing, or you can set to one, which is a very low quality one. So we can set to four. Actually, these are for the older computers. I think so. Compatibility with older computers, like Windows ninety-eight or something. Sixteen color things, and uh, even thirty-two color things. That's okay. I think there are monitors with sixty-four color thing also. But anyway, I don't know much about that monitors and all those things. And also controls category, I don't see any changes. So let's go to the next thing. other than that so there's values which is kind of new we got an exponential operator I think this is where this exponential operator is coming from but we got something called a comma actually I don't know much about these operators and all over here so I'm just is gonna bad minimum detest it out just putting it like that so what's going on I don't know maybe we will check it later can check a length of a particular string like you can see it would be 5 yeah you can reverse a particular string and make it ole yeah you can pick random which I think yeah, this is already there but this is now greater than and lesser than operator with a string input it's having a string input which I don't understand I think it's for this thing okay it's not like that but of course these things are not very well suited but this thing is well suited I think so this is special but I don't know and this within what does this mean I don't know actually I forgot what is this I don't know what does a tittle mean I don't understand this operator but it's just an operator I know that You can check if two both are equal, which is a new operator. Like I cannot say it's a new operator. I mean new predicate block. It's to put true or false. Okay, this thing. I think so. These two blocks are from streak itself. This two, these two are stolen from streak. Lots of mod have these blocks. Anyway, I'm just explaining for streak streak also. If you don't understand what's going on, so I'm going to demonstrate with the save block, which is the easiest thing I could do for now. For me, I, according to me, it's easiest. But I don't know. For you guys, maybe it's some other block. But yeah. I don't care, I'm just doing this review here. So if it's equal to 1, it should be like it is 1, otherwise, it should be like it is not. It's kind of similar to if you say this, it is not because it's 0. You change it by 1, then ask, yeah, it is 1. That's how it works. And then it's kind of like if an if else statement but if you move this thing to here and then be like if 
it's one then be like it is one then duplicate it it's not that's how this thing works this thing is similar to this thing of course this thing is very similar to this thing but it saves space which is not a big thing but still okay and also there's this thing which is kind of similar to the I'm not creating a whole script but just creating a simple thing so this is like this but if first we'll take the first first condition and then it if it's true then it'll do the another condition over here otherwise it'll do the uh, else condition over here and then in inside the condition itself there's one more condition if it's true one condition should be true then it'll report true otherwise it'll report false if he, this one is first one is false and then second one is true it'll report true first one is false and second one is false it'll report false it's kind of weird but i think so you understood it otherwise you can just test it yourself out test out yourself there's also pi but the one 3.1 is reported i think this one is copied also and e i don't know what is it whatever it is and this is a reporter block you should report anything you give like if you give hello it will report hello that's all and there's something called mod okay modless operator that one i know you can round a particular to number to the nearest ones and then there's even a drop down menu i think it was there in 1.3 already i don't know you can find lcm which is very amazing lowest common multiple so 7 and 13 okay i don't think so it's reporting anything but let's just set that to the that thing okay it's 91 it just gave that answer and then also you can get the gcf greatest common factor see I have heard about lowest common factor but I don't know about greatest common factor whatever it is ok it's the greatest common factor which is something nothing I think so nothing too hard so let's store the variable because it doesn't report anything without being stored into anywhere ok it's 2 and then hexadecimal of a particular number like Actually, I have heard of ASCII, but this is the first time I hear about it. hexadecimal. But you can enter only numbers, I think so. Okay, this is the hexadecimal of that. So, 1 is 1 is 16R1, 2 is 16R2. That's how this thing works. I don't know much about these things, but anyway, I'm just continuing the video. And then there's pens which are having this thing. You can count the number of marks, but let's just clear it now it's like almost zero and we got this thing over here it's gonna give pen down let's see how if you move 10 steps the pen mark doesn't change this pen mark just means how much time you give pen down i think so it counts while taking pen up and putting it down again i think that's what is counted as the pen marks while taking the pen up and down that's the counter as pen marks that's what is the thing Actually, it's very easy to work around, but anyway, it's there. So, we did it. And of course, this mod itself is explaining its own use in pen. You can check if you are right clicking. You can see it's saying true. But I think so, I should click within the interface. You can see it's saying true. Suddenly, when I'm clicking on the right click, middle mouse button. I think my button, my mouse doesn't have a middle mouse. Yeah, my mouse is a different kind of mouse with the ball ball point on the top so that I cannot click it properly anyways yeah and then we got a date reporter which has never existed before let's correct yeah and then other than that there's no change over here so let's go to the sound category play back focus I have no idea why this block is always there. Maybe it's their favorite music block or something. Sorry for that. Okay, I stopped all the sound there. Thank God that stop all block was there, even. <laughs> this being like that. 
and now let's just look at the looks category or I don't know what should we look at okay I'll just look at looks category in that you can see costume name for a particular costume number which could be one I think it's not report it's not working properly that could be the reason or you can check the current costume Then you can know, that's even say nothing. It's obsolete block is restored. And that's even a graphics effect color reporter. I think this is the. F I think this also is derived from this mod only. In case you saw this in in any other mod, because I don't remember which mod. So these things were there. But yeah, these things are very cool. This reports some graphics effect. Also, I forgot about saying about the drop down because some of the effects like ghost blur and point lights are newly added. But I don't know if it will work because I don't want to try. This takes a long time. But anyway. You just got a graphics effect reporter, that's what I'm coming to say. You can change color effects. But why is it not working? I don't know. But yeah, it's reporting the color effects. You can change the stretch by a particular thing. You can see it's stretching. This block is stretching. I'll set it back to 100. And then you can also check if it's hidden or not. If it's showing, it will report false. If it's hiding, it will report true. Showing false, hiding true. That's how it works. And then you got variables which have no change, I think so. Let me just create a list for a demonstration if there's any change. Yeah, so this thing as well doesn't have any change. But yeah, some things are missing because this is 1.3.1, not 1.4 itself, that's why. And yeah, this thing, I think so, this mod is mainly based on va the values or you can say it as operators. The pen stuff is a little bit okay. Mainly these two things are the influence of the streak, I think so. And even of course its own sound or something. Back Fergus. I don't know what is that. What other instrument is that? Anyways. I hope that's all I can say about this mode, but I don't know. If that's anything more left. Yeah, I think so a little more darker theme while switching to this thing. Anyways, it's cool. And I think that's all I can say about this mod streak. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And I'm going to be providing a setup file rather than an image file because this is very amazing with the setup file only, not with the image file. I don't like that. I don't know why. But I like this thing more. So yeah, that's all I can say.